good morning. Let's see what we got going on here today. Okay, so I got a call about a crack in a wall. This is a house that's for sale. Um, if you're a homeowner and you have a simple repair, it's like one thing like this, and you call a contractor like me to come fix it, especially in this day and age with technology, if you can take a picture of this with your phone and send it to me, I can quote it over the phone. I can look at that and say, look, I know what that's gonna take to do that. I'm gonna charge you this much to come out and do it. So that's one thing that you can do to help guys to get numbers to you and get your projects done faster, uh, particularly on little things. Because on little things, you know, we, we just don't even know if it's worth our time to, to mess with it or call back or go do it, right? So this really helps. And this is usually what I'll do with the customers. I'll say, look, take a picture of it, send it to me. And if that's all it is, if what you're showing me is all that it is, I can tell you that for just doing that, I'm gonna charge you this much. Okay, but anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. There's a crack, guy selling his house, needs it fixed. I'm here to fix it. How do you fix it? Okay, um, I have mixed, this is regular masonry. It's a newer construction house, so type in masonry. Uh, you get it at Home Depot, you can get it pre-sanded. I don't like pre-sanded. I would prefer to mix the sand and the cement myself, so that's what I've done. When I mixed it, I did not mix it like I was gonna lay brick. I mixed the mortar so that it is, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty tough, right? It looks like moist soil, okay? It's mixed and it's gonna harden just fine. There is this idea that you have to really make it wet for it to harden up and that's not the case. Cement will harden, this cement will harden in a bucket filled with water. It'll go to the bottom, it'll settle and it will harden inside of a bucket of water. Lime-based mortar will not do that. Uh, and if lime-based mortar gets really cold, like the day before, if you get it, you know, it's working super cold, the next day you can come back and damn near shake it up, meaning remix it. Um, but not with this kind of mortar. So you got a crack in a wall. You need a grinder. I would recommend a grinder. You don't have to do a grinder. You could do this all by hand if you really want to. Um, but for speed purposes and if you're a person that's never worked with a hammer and a chisel, you're in a position where you could damage some bricks trying to do it yourself. Uh, you should wear gloves. You should wear eyewear. You probably should wear a protective uh, dust, you know, some kind of respirator. I'm not doing that. Don't do that like me. All right, so you cut right down the middle of the joint or you can cut uh, where it touches the bricks. We've got a well, a window well here, egress window. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this plastic down to catch the debris. Um, okay. Remember to be careful on your head joints if you're using a grinder. Watch the grinder so you don't hit the brick above and below. Need a tuck pointer. This is a slicker, but I'm using it as a tuck pointer. You can get these, you can get tuck pointers, not this particular type, but usually the depot carries them on their masonry aisle. Um, the tuck pointers uh, have a handle on them and then just one stem and it's one size, like one blade and it's one size on it. Um, so I just wanna do a quick one on like, okay, grind it and then point it. Um, you can, I'm gonna tuck point this more in the, uh, by hand, I would say, rather than using a bag like you've seen me use in other videos, um, because I pretty much wanna put this in the wall, strike it, brush it, and walk away. I don't wanna be here waiting on mortar to dry out.
This is the thing I do like about um, tuck pointing by hand is that um, you can put the mortar in, strike it, finish it, brush it kind of while you're there. Um, I probably could have put a little bit more cement in this and I might do that in just a second because it's just not quite sticky enough. You can hold the mortar in your hand, especially for a homeowner. Look, you don't have to learn how to pick mortar up. You can hold the mortar in your hand and you can pack it right into the joint. And the nice thing again with having your mortar dry like this is that it is not gonna make a mess on the brick, okay? It's not wet enough to start getting gummed up onto the brickwork. Also, when you got a piece like this, I mean, it's a little hard, you know. I'm not making, the, look, I'm not making these videos to teach other guys how to do it. I mean, if it shows guys how to do it, great, because I think that I know how to do it at this point. I'm doing this so you can see, like, hey, I got a crack on the wall, and you're, you're feeling ambitious. You can fix it yourself. Um, this is a jointer. This is the tool that makes your mortar joint look uh, concave, gives it that nice rounded finish. And as we talked about, if you're doing, this is in a way a head joint. When you strike your head joint, it crosses your bed. So you wanna go back over your bed joint. And then you can just kinda knock your mortar off like that. Clean it up. Okay, so there it's tuck pointed. These, bro these bro bristle brushes are nice. These uh, hand brooms are nice for this kind of thing, okay? If you're trying to rough something up, uh, okay, they're good too. This is a wood fiber bristle brush. These are nice because they're uh, softer, so they're not gonna rake out your joint like a harder bristle brush will. Um, so I like these brushes for that. And um, also sponges are nice, a dry sponge. Uh, wet sponges, if you make it wet, you've just created a mess that you were trying to avoid by making your mortar a little dry. Okay. So if you brush it, go back over it. You know, I'm pushing on this tool pretty hard. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if it'll sink in, if it'll, if it'll push in. I wanna know if I need to put a little bit more mortar in that joint. It's a little shallow. The joint that I'm putting in looks a little shallow to me. So I'm gonna make one more pass with this masonry. Just pack some right on top of it. Same thing here. I'm just feeding the mortar out in front of my uh, tool. Um, when you're tuck pointing, it's good to start in one direction and go one way, either this, start this way and go that way, or start this way and go that way. That way you're building, you're putting your mortar here and you're building on to what you've already put on the wall. Yeah, no way to hide this one. It's uh, the cracks opened up so much. It wouldn't even matter if, if I was trying to color match it because you just can't hide. You can't hide that unless you remove, unless you reshuffle the bricks. So I'm going to keep working on this, but that is grind it, clean it out, tuck point it, brush it, and uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're not too stressed out.